All right, guys, we are currently in downtown LA. We are on our way to the Funko Hollywood store to go and see if they have any more of the Chester Cheetah Flocked Chases. So wish me luck. Right now it is 10.53 a.m. And the store opens at 12, so we should get there about 11.10. Wait about 50 minutes, and then hopefully if we're lucky, we'll get some. All right, we just got off on Hollywood Boulevard. Funko store is just a little bit down the street. But we're almost there. We are in dirty, 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 dirty Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know why so many people like this place, but it's it's freaking disgusting. It's filthy. Anyone who lives here in LA can tell you, just like me, that Hollywood is not a beautiful place that you want to come in half a mile, check out. The destination anyways, is on. All right, so we've went ahead and we found some parking. It's very hard to find parking here. Now the Funko store is right over there on that main street. I usually like to come over here to Gower Street because there's usually uh, parking back here. You don't have to pay for anything. But sadly today there's no parking over there so I had to find a parking spot right over here right in front of the first Presbyterian Church of Hollywood. So let's go ahead and make our way down to Funko Store and let's see if we get lucky with a flocked Chester Cheetah Chase. Well, it was a bust. I did get the Funko Shop exclusive Spider-Man and I did get the Cheetah, but it was not the Chase. They ran out. How sad is that? So I drove all the way to nasty, nasty Hollywood for the non-Chase. It's okay, you know, you can still only get this at Hollywood, so that's pretty cool. And you know, I did a good drive, I guess, so it is what it is. All I can recommend to you guys if you're trying to get the Chase Flocked Cheetah is probably to watch Funko Pop News on Instagram, stay up to date. And I did ask the people here at Funko if they think they'll be getting more. And they said that sometimes they get like a reshipment, like more inventory around 1, 2 p.m. I don't want to wait one to two hours. So it is what it is. I think it's kind of sad. You know, <laughs> they're just playing games pretty much. It's either you get it or you don't. It is only Friday and it is 12.44 p.m. And look at how bad the traffic is. This isn't even one of the main freeways. This is just one of like six freeways that we use all the time here in LA County. This is the 210 freeway. I'm over like near Rosemead, San Gabriel area. And look at this shit. It's not even one o'clock yet. Usually the bad traffic hits like at three. So I'm about to get off the freeway and take the streets home. All right, guys. So I took the Z31 out to go and get the Cheetah Chase Flocked Funko Pop. I am buying it resale off of the secondhand market. I chose OfferUp. We're meeting at Glorious Costco. And he's only selling it for $70, which isn't as bad as, you know, the people selling it on eBay for freaking $200. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. But I figured for all that I've went through for this Funko Pop, I might as well get this deal. Um, I'm meeting up with him right now, and I took the Z31 to come get it. So I'll show you guys what the chase looks like out of box in a little bit. All right, you guys, we are back home. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the three pops that I got. So we went to Funko Hollywood, and we did pick up the Funko exclusive uh, Spider-Man. And then we also did get the non-flocked Chester Cheetah. And then off of offer up, you know, I had to go and get the flocked Chase Chester Cheetah. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. I, I don't really want to damage this pop. I spent $70 on it. Um, I really see this pop being expensive in the future just because it's a Funko Hollywood exclusive with a Chase. So you can't buy it online. You can only buy it at the Funko Hollywood store and you still, you know, need to pull the Chase variant. So it's, it's very difficult to get this pop. Um, I did try it for the chase. I waited in line, but as you guys know, they sold out. So it is what it is. I still was able to pick up the original. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at both the flocked and the non-flocked. So you can see the comparisons of the colors and all that. But all in all, the box is very cool. And I don't know if you could see it, but he is holding up a, I think that's cheddar jalapeno, cheddar jalapeno bag in his hand which is pretty freaking funny to me. Um, it is number 174 in the Ad Icons line. 
I don't really collect ad icons, but there's specific ones that really just stick out to me. And I love Hot Cheetos, so I felt like Chester Cheeto was a must. And then Funko Hollywood, it's only about an hour from where I live. So I really tried for this one. And even though I didn't get it for retail, I'm still very happy to have it. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull those out of box right now. Let's also take a look at the Spider-Man pop. A lot of people have been giving this a little bit of hate because apparently it sold out in like two minutes and then it restocked. I don't know how it restocked. Uh, I think the Gasolcast, they made a good video where they said that um, Funko probably put the wrong number in, like instead of 20,000, they put like 2,000 or something like that for the inventory. So it probably sold out extremely fast due to that and then they fixed it. But all in all, I think it did still sell out. Um, I went to the store to pick it up. They only had like maybe 10 at Funko Hollywood when I was there. I wasn't really planning to buy this, but since they had it, I was like, you know what, why not? And uh, the people at Funko Hollywood actually convinced me to because they were like, oh, it's never gonna come back. It's never gonna restock. It's, it's for sure never coming back. And I was like, all right, you know what? If that ends up being the case, and this ends up being like a $40, $50 pop in the future, and I didn't get it for retail $15, I might as well slap myself in the face. So I bought it, because it, it's minty, you know? This is a good box, and it is actually a really cool pop. So we'll take that out of box two, and then you'll be able to see what that one looks like. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the Spider-Man pop first, and then we'll compare the Chester Cheetahs. Okay, so he is now officially out of box. First thing I'll say when taking him out of box is he barely stands up. Um, I was messing around with him right now and you barely touch him a little bit and he wants to fall forward. So you really gotta like be real delicate with him just to keep him standing. So for you out of box collectors, uh, just a heads up if you haven't uh, got him yet. But looking at the detail, he looks amazing. I love the battle damage on his face, the little cuts and scratches. And it does kind of look like Tom Holland, honestly, this pop. It gives me Tom Holland vibes. Um, the suit itself looks really good. I think they did a good job on the colors. Um, it doesn't really look any, any bad to me. It's in a really amazing pop and it is a bobblehead since it's a Marvel pop. Um, those of you that don't know, Marvel and Star Wars pops are all bobbleheads. Everything else is vinyl. And then go ahead and look at the feet. Oh, I'm stupid. Does it come with a stand? Oh, it does come with a stand. So we've ran into a bit of a problem. So it did come with the stand and I'm trying to attach it to him. And I don't know if you could see that, but his foot on the bottom of the hole, it's like almost like a hexagon. And this hole that goes in, it's like a per perfect circle. So I'm trying to literally put it, put his foot in. I don't know if you could see that. I'm trying to put his foot in. Oh, there, finally. Got it, Jesus. All right, that was, uh, that was challenging. Anyways, it does have a stand. It does, look at that, it, it doesn't even really wanna go in there. Funko, you need to fix this shit. But anyways, very cool pop. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and put them back and we'll bust out the Chester Cheetahs. All right guys, so we have taken out both Chester Cheetahs out of the boxes. I don't know if you could tell, but this one is the non-chase, and then this one is the chase, the flocked one. First thing I will say when taking these ones out of the packaging is that the plastic protectors, they're not like the normal ones you have. These are like two separate pieces. So thank God I took the normal one out first because it just fell out. It just came straight out the box. So when I took the chase out, I was extra careful to make sure to be nice because I don't want to damage it. Um, but anyways, that's the first thing I noticed was the plastic was a piece of crap. It basically just wants to fall apart once you take it out the box. Um, so be careful if you get these Funko Pops and you know you want to take it out of the box to display it. Just do it carefully. N don't be in a rush. Um, and the next thing I'll go ahead and I'll say, both of these do come with the bases. Um, before I complain about why this is kind of stupid to me, look at this this is the clean this is the non-chase one look how clean that one is and then look at the chase one this one freaking filthy dude why is the chase one so dirty and then the non-chase one's so beautifully clean like it just looks disgusting it's not even dirty it's like scratches it's all scratched up but 
uh, they do both come with the plastic um, holders for the feet, but the same problem again, it doesn't want to fit in the freaking feet. And then look at the tail. The tail is like a little bit lower than the feet. So if I put this even at an angle where it's like, you know, the rest of the base really isn't bothering the back. Look at that. The tail will not let it go in. The tail will not let the base go in. So it's better just to have it standing without the base. The base is kind of stupid. So, I mean, I don't know. Explain that to me, Funko. What the hell? <laughs> now, the good thing is, is it does stand. So let's go ahead and break it down. This is what the non-chase looks like. Um, the colors really do pop on this, mainly because, I mean, it's not fuzzy. It's just paint. Um, it looks really good, actually. I really like the way that this pops. Um, I, put, I feel like they put a lot of detail into this Funko Pop. Um, wow, I just, I like it a lot. I like the way his glasses look on him. And then all the detail you could see in his little uh, chips bag. Really freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and check out the difference between that one and the flocked one. Now the flocked one, it is very freaking fuzzy, dude. Look at that. Look at how fuzzy it is, man. Everything on this thing is flocked. Only thing that really isn't flocked is the glasses and the Cheetos. That's it, everything else is flocked. His tail, his back, his head, his hand his nose, his mouth. And I feel like they did a really good job on the flocked. It just looks really freaking good. I mean, look at that. Now, do I feel like this is gonna be a pop that's very expensive in the future? Yes, yes I do. Um, do I feel like he's worth buying right now for $200? No, no I don't. Um, the only reason I bought it is because the guy was doing it for $70. And his reasoning for $70 is because the box had a little ding right there, and it had a little ding right there. Those dings, those two dings are the reasons he sold it for $70, because he had another one, and that one was going for 180. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you like the comparisons. I really don't understand these things. These are so stupid, especially when the character doesn't even allow you to fit it on them. Like his tail does not let you put the stand on him. That's so stupid, but if you're able to pick this one up, I'd really recommend it. I feel like it's gonna be a mega, mega, mega grail in the future, just to the fact that it's exclusive to Funko Hollywood. The same way how like if uh, the Funko HQ, and I think it's Everett Washington, if they ever do like an exclusive to just the HQ, they usually end up being expensive Funko Pops because the only way to get it is by going to the HQ in Washington. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay collecting. Peace.